Earlier this year, we brought you a story of a school in Garden Valley that bought rifles as protection. And now students are back in class. Jake Lieber asked parents how they feel about the newly armed school. Garden Valley residents tell me that response to the plan was mixed at first, both in the area and nationwide, but now locals are overwhelmingly positive. The 2015 school year just began in rural Garden Valley, a community of some 400 people. With a new year comes new security measures. Earlier this year, the district installed four guns in the school to be used by trained staff in case of an emergency. Superintendent Greg Alexander says the main reason for the purchase is the school's remote location. It can be 45 minutes to, to 50 minutes or longer before um, security personnel, uh, first responders could be here. You know, and that's a, that's a long time to, before you can get to a school to help out. Alexander says only a few staff members are trained to use the weapons and have access to the gun safes. Parents I spoke with say they felt more at ease when they learned the details of the school's plan. I know at first it was a, uh, it was kind of a 50-50 response, but over time a lot of people have come to really um, respect and understand how they went about initiating the program. The school made national headlines, but administrators say the response has been very good. People all over the country have called us. We've had 75 positive comments from around the country compared to one uh, single uh, complaint about, you know, the weapon. So I asked dozens of locals their opinion. They all told me the gun purchase was a good decision for their community. When you have a school that's out there in the middle of nowhere, anything can happen. So when you have guns in a school, I think it makes it feel safer. And the new security measures don't stop there. Superintendent says they received a grant for a new school resource officer, the first one in the district's history. In the newsroom, Jake Lieber, KBOI 2 News.